Okay, so welcome back for our second sketchbook tutorial. So last time we looked at creating a logo for your brand and today we're going to look at how you can use that logo on some, uh, for this case, some blank fragrance bottle templates. So the first thing that you need to do is to open up your template for your bottle and also your logo into a new layer. So let's go ahead and look at the template for the bottle. So I've uploaded the images into my camera roll on my iPad, but if you're using the PC app, then you want to have saved them into a folder you can access easily. So I can then look through and find my bottle there. Now while all I've done is made a screenshot originally, so I'm gonna use my uh, my transform tool here at the top and then I'm going to use my inverse so the first thing I'm going to do is to use the draw a square tool probably I'm just going to draw a square around my bottle like this to pick it out of the picture and I want to get quite close to it but I don't want to go over the lines so then I'm going to tap this kind of square donut here and that's going to invert the selection. So what that means is I'm now going to delete everything outside the box rather than what's inside the box. So I tap on my layer and it brings up this option. I can then tap the cut function and that removes everything around outside the box. So then I can just tick the red cross there and that clears my selection. So here I have my bottle waiting to have the logo imported on top of it. So I'm going to just pinch that out and make it a little bit larger so I can see it a little bit more clearly. Then I'm going to pick a new layer on my Layers tab, press the plus button there, create a new layer, and then I'm going to go back to my pictures and import my logo which I created before. So my logo is here, I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to just pinch it down a little bit. But I want to crop out the outside again. So I can do a similar thing to that which I did before. I can use my transform tool, the square at the top with the black arrow in, and I can draw a square if I'd like around here. And I can use the inverse tool function, tap my layer, cut away what's there, and then here we go. Now there are ways that you can get a little closer to the image. And it can be a little bit tricky, however, we can try and use the magic wand tool or I can crop cl more closely to the edges of the lines. I've made mine more difficult because obviously I've got a faded kind of colour print at the back here. And this is what happens if I use the magic wand tool there. I can try and tap on it and it will form an outline but it's not picking exactly where I'd like it to go. As you can see, I really need to take my outline all the way around the outside of this. So I can try and do something using the lasso tool, which is the one on the far left there, and I can draw around that. So if I re reduce the selection, pick my lasso tool, then I can try and draw, and I might want to go a little bit bigger here so I can get a little bit closer in. Um, let's get rid of that. And then I can draw around the edge of my logo here and just try and pick out exactly the edge of where my logo is. There we go. So I can choose that if I like. That's not too bad. So then I'm going to again inverse selection, tap my layer, cut away what's there and then take that out. And then I can resize that using the function at the top there so this is the arrows pointing north south east and west and then I can just shrink that down and actually I probably want to just tilt it I'm going to tilt mine very slightly now what I can do if I want to try and bring that in a little bit closer is I cut I could because it's a problem because obviously there's gray background on the bottle so I could erase a little bit and kind of blur it through and I'd use the eraser tool here and I probably want to take the size down a little and I want to take the flow down so it's a bit more grayed. 
So then if I start to brush here with my eraser, it blurs off the edge for me a little bit, as you can see. And that's not too bad, I don't mind that. I just want to take the, far, the hard edge out the side of it so it blends in a little bit better all the way around and it makes, gives it a more of a cloud effect. So I can run that around there and get a little bit of a blurring of the edges and actually that works quite well without taking all of my colour out colour out too much. There we go. So that's okay. So then I'm going to just tap out of that um, and bring that back here. So there's my bottle. The next thing I'm going to do on a new layer, and I'm just going to pull that layer down. There we go. I'm going to work on a new layer now. So I'm going to work on the cap. And what I want to do here is I want to add colour to the bottle cap. So I'm going to use my lasso tool again, and I'm going to draw really carefully along the top of my bottle and around the edge just to pick out and it's actually quite accurate there we go so now I can choose some colors and I want to stick with my original color scheme so I need to be able to just see so I'm going to tap here and I went orange first so I'm going to choose my brush and again I can affect the brush a little bit in terms of how intense the brush is and the size and the density of the brush. First I'm going to choose the orange and I'm going to just run, so now I can just paint within the selection I've made. So I can run down there and then I'm going to go to the pink so it matches the colours on my bottle and then I'm going to go to the yellow and then I'm going to go to the blue and to the dark blue. There we go. And then I'm just going to tap out of that and you can see when I reduce the selection that it matches up to my logo. So I can take the opacity down. So if I tap on the layer and just reduce the opacity so I can see some of the shading behind, then all I have left to do on my new layer is add in my description text of my item. So this I'm going to just add another layer in. Finally, tap my layers icon, tap on my text button and just type in, and this is a unisex fragrance, so we're going to say fragrance for all. So I can change the colour again if I want to do on that um, uh, with the colour wheel or I can change the font type, but I quite like that, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to tap on my resize tool at the top there, shrink it down, fit it onto the bottom of my bottle. And that, a little bit smaller, that's pretty good. So there I have it. If I really want to, I could erase this edge on the, on the base layer using my eraser tool. And I could kind of just rub all that out. Or if I wanted to, I could just blur that in going back to my eraser that I used before. Again, you can be kind of fairly careful as you come close to the bottle, you don't erase the bottle out, but that's worked fairly well. And it just takes the edge off. It still leaves a little bit of shadow. And there we go. So that I will screenshot. I can save that file as well. And then I can go back to my other bottle shapes and create the rest of my brand range.